Well, after a weekend of exciting sports events, we want to give you some highlights. And for that now, we turn to Sunny Yang with the sunny side of sports. Sunny. Hi, Vincent, and sporty greetings once again to all our In Focus viewers. Let's kick off in Cairo, the Egyptian capital, where it's a celebration of African football Monday evening. The African Football Confederation CAF is holding its annual awards ceremony. Various awards are being handed out. The biggest prize is the Men's Player of the Year trophy, and that will be given to one of three players, Didier Drogba of Chelsea and Ivory Coast, Samuel Eto of Inter Milan and Cameroon, or Asamoa John of Sunderland and Ghana. It'll go to one of those three players. I mentioned Samuel Eto. He scored for Inter Milan over the weekend as the Italian club defeated TP Mazembe of the Democratic Republic of Congo 3-0 in the FIFA Club World Cup final, played in Abu Dhabi, the United Arab Emirates. And even though the score line did not go in favor of Mazembe, here's a sunny side of sports salute for the Congolese club. They are the first African club to reach the final of the annual FIFA tourney. Turning to African athletics, Ethiopian star Haile Gebra Selassie is back in full training after reversing a premature decision to retire. Haile dropped out of the New York City Marathon in November and immediately afterwards said he was calling it quits on his great athletic career. However, he made a U-turn just a few days later and Haile says he's now focused on the 2012 London Olympics and after that, a possible career in politics. One of the things in what I want to tell to the people, uh, I don't plan you know, just to retire. If I want, I mean, if I have to retire, you know, just like I decide, you know, what happened in New York. But you know, this is my, uh, this is highless, uh, I mean, the way how I believe. Uh, now, I'm preparing for uh, London 2012. I want to do something, you know, for, uh, for Ethiopia, for uh, Africa. Well, I mean, for myself, for my family, for my people. And what is the best, you know, to do, to pay back? Uh, those people you who know, were supporting me for many years, well, to involve in politics, to be, you know, just a prime minister or a president or a minister, whatever. If, you know, this gives, you know, something back, why not? The great Ethiopian runner Haile Gebre Selassie, the current world record holder in the marathon. Finally, let's go to South Africa's coastal city of Durban, and that's where South African golf star Ernie Els won the 100th edition of the South African Open. Ernie shot a 25 under par 257. He finished one shot ahead of another top South African golfer, Ratif Goosen. Big payday for Ernie. He won over $200,000. It was the fifth time he's won the South African Open. So here's another sunny side of sports salute for Ernie Els. I'm VOA Sonny Young, and that's the sunny side of sports. Back to Vincent McCorry. And, and you know, Sonny, I, I really feel like, just like you that uh, I'm going to give a very special salute to Tipi Mazembe because when I think about uh, the DRC and how politically it's unstable, so many things going on in that country, but this team looks like it's together and it's getting its act together. They definitely uh, look together in the Middle East, Vincent. Uh, they captured the imagination of a lot of African football fans. Yes, as you mentioned, uh, they are together. They've won the African title the past two seasons. And uh, yeah, I think they are a team to watch now in African football. And uh, of course, the highly uh, Gabriel Selassie saying is not only uh, looking at 2012 uh, to win the London Marathon, but also that after that, perhaps he might actually uh, run away with a major political position in Ethiopia. Who can tell? Vincent, I know he's very <laughs> popular in Ethiopia, but uh, politics to me seems like a, a whole different ball game than exactly. athletics. So yeah. uh, we'll have to watch to see whether Haile uh, throws his hat into the ring, the political arena. Yeah, it's a totally different game. You know, thanks a lot, Sonny, for bringing us those uh, wonderful highlights. And viewer, remember to watch for the sunny side of sports every Monday and Friday right here on In Focus.